Good morning from Washington, D.C. Uh, sad reporting story again from Haiti. It's just uh, one thing after another with that um, with that country by the name of Haiti, which uh, is hooked right onto the Dominican Republic. It's always been um, rough for Haitians, you know, ever since 1804. No, it was rough prior to 1804, but 1804 when they gained their freedom from France, you know, when they won their freedom, when their strategic generals and military minds were at the best. And they fend off France, sent them on back 4,552 miles back across the ocean to, to Paris. Only to have those, only to have those horrible people come back on them again in 1825 and demand reparations from the former enslaved people. The master forces the former enslaved people to pay them reparations, which in turn, the former enslaved people decide to pay. It took them 122 years to pay off what, what those um, former slavers um, from 1825 to 1947 before they paid off that horrible debt. Powerful generations of Haitians have come and gone, come and gone. The country is very watered down, weak. You got the West African effect. Now you got black against black, you know, voodoo, witchcraft, maybe some Christian praying, further falling down society devastating earthquake just on that side of the island. Not on the Dominican side, but on the Haitian side. Isn't that something? Destroy them furthermore. Constant intervention of the French, never letting their hands off of them. Always want to put their hand on their neck and control them, you know. <sighs> wow. From 1886, when Haitians started elections, no Haitian president has made it to seven terms. No, no Haitian president has made a full seven terms. They have been killed or they even ran out of office for one reason or another. Horrible situation, right? Unstable. That's 138 years of no one ever going seven terms, seven years, full term. We know that the Haitians' uh, population now is 11.45 million, 2024. 1980, it was 5,650,000. In 1789, it was 556,000. To this very day, the Haitians live in poverty. 58.6% of the people are living in what's called poverty. You know, you're poor. But 24.7% are living in objective poverty, which means eating mud bricks, begging for food, just trying to scrounge around, just trying to just exist from one day to the next. Horrible-like situation that occurs there. And we have these, um, the scattered rose up now again, like another one. We got a Jimmy the Barber, former elite police officer running things now. Breaking people out of prisons, um, you know, ruling the country the way he wants to do it, uh, chaotic, but what do you expect from a people who've been exploited and, and never forgiven for chasing those French back to France? Never forgiven. Always exploited, always taken advantage of, no matter what situation. You would think that on this side of the hemisphere, they wouldn't be one of the poorest places in the entire world, but they are. And it's a strategic plan because just like when they made that plan to pay reparations to the former slave owners, I'm sure they had no great knowledge about financing. Clearly taken advantage of, you know. Clearly taken advantage of. Even in the war, they lost so many in the guerrilla warfare and, and fending off the French. They had the audacity to come back. Twenty some years later, demand reparations, they didn't get it. I think that's to the point where they should have never gave it to them. They should have never 
bow to the force and power or, or another military campaign. They should have just, they should have bit the bullet, pulled out the shop and the spears. They said, we're not giving you anything. You know? Maybe the person that came there, they should have just executed them. You know? Because it hasn't been very good for them. They tend to try to leave, try to make life better. I can remember just recently here in 2023, they were coming across the, the border of uh, Texas there, trying to get uh, in the United States of America. And, you know, America says uh, they have a hard time with the border and keeping immigrants out. They didn't have a hard time keeping the Haitians out at all. They were able to uh, mount horses and swing whips, things of that nature, and immediately deported all of them back to Haiti, one-way ticket. But the ones that we have coming from Central America and South America is like, we don't know how to stem it. We don't know how to stop this thing. It's just crazy at the border. Ooh, well, they know how to stop it. They know how to stem everything. It's just the, the motivation to do so. Uh, the, the, uh, the Spanish blood is pretty, it's pretty deep. It's still deep over here in America. Spanish when when America before the, the, the English were, right? So colonists, colonists after colonists destroyed, uh, you know, 112 million Indians over here, Native Americans, different tribes and different languages, a whole culture. Uh, like they said, they discovered the new world, so they decided to conquer a place and systematically did so. So then we're looking at um, Jimmy Barbecue. Jimmy Barbecue doing his thing over there. He going down the street shooting his gun. There are people landing in the street dead. The prisons are open and free. Somebody's wiping his face off while he's walking. How long would Jimmy last? Well, judging by the 12 presidents from 1886 to 2024, not very long, right? His run will end. Now he serves the purpose he's serving, whoever's in charge, whoever told him to do what he's doing. I see no gain or benefit. Closing airports, chasing people out, you know, doing this, doing that. Still poor, still ain't got nothing, still an island sitting out there. Yeah. Just a sad situation, man. What you gonna do though? You know, I guess you're gonna keep up the witchcraft, keep up the voodoo, keep up all that kind of stuff, which is contrary to the kingdom of God, which further takes you down a slippery slope. The sad thing about it is that you can look at a Christianity and say, well, it came from the West, and look what the French did to you. Look how they exploited you and took advantage of you, probably in the name of God. Surely their ancestors are rotting in hell right now. Rotting in hell. You know. Sad situation. It's just a domino effect. It's like, keep cloning a Haitian on cloning a Haitian on cloning a Haitian, keep doing the same, same, same to them. Because it always takes a, a genius to be born in a certain place. It can change a certain outcome for many, many, many people. It just seems like they need a big change of outcome for the Haitians. Sad, man. I wouldn't even, I would just change the name of the country, man. I wouldn't even call it Haiti no more. Change, you know, have a new change. Put a new constitution. Change the name. Change it something else, you know. And just uh, do a thing, a, a childbirth thing. Stop having, stop having children. You know, we look at I look at these things all the time. People are having children, they're starving, they still have them. Yeah, you gotta have sex, man. Just strap it up. You know, put something on, put a condom or something on, strap it up. You know, maybe get engaged in, a, in an oral sex or something like that. Just, just not having more kids, man, because it seems like it's never going to get any better here. You know, the French came in this island and took it over from Native Americans again back in 1492. Up until 18, 1804, was 312 years dominating for the, the Western Africans. They were taken from their countries brutally and, and, ens and enslaved by their own West African people and put into slavery. Took over that little precious island. And since they took over the little precious island, it's been one turmoil thing after another. One horrible event after another. Can hardly have peace. Can hardly have peace. You're running over Dominica, public trying to get little jobs, being treated like secondhand citizens, trying to sell stuff, they're taking stuff from you because they got that West African effect in them too over there. They, they mix, you know, too. You, know, you don't have too much of, they got less of the West 
African blood in them than you. But they got they got it going through their veins, and they got enough to they can stabilize the country. Doing pretty good over there. With, they're running fleeing to America as well. And Haitians trying to come, Dominicans trying to come. And it's just one story after another, man, in, in, in black light. But just a small little segment of a story. You know. Life indeed goes on. But it's amazing how the the masters or the former slave owners got an independent debt put on these Haitians, these slave people, trying to exist, trying to make a world, trying to feed their families and Stay black in America like she ain't scrapping channel.